Good morning, friends. It's Chris on Tuesday. It is a beautiful, beautiful spring day outside, and I wanted to do this outside, but unfortunately, the wind is blowing so that my voice could not be heard over the wind, but it is an extraordinary day. Uh, one of the things I was looking for earlier today was a pair of binoculars so that I can look at the uh, birds that are uh, hopping around outside and in the trees out in the backyard. I don't know a whole lot about birds. I never really took the time to learn the different varieties. I can recognize a cardinal. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot that I know about birds. But as we're in this spectacular spring day, uh, my mind goes to Psalm 19, beginning with the first verse. The heavens are telling the glory of God. The firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, and yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. Um, the writer is there talking about how creation itself, um, the heavens especially, are telling uh, about the greatness of God. And so if you go out on a cloudless day like today, if you look out on a cloudless night and see the stars as uh, they go in their courses from season to season and recognize uh, some of the, uh, the patterns that ancient people saw in the stars, some of which are the same patterns that we have recognized as the constellations in, in our era, um, we just see how beautiful and how amazing is the glory of, of God's creation, which brings glory to him. So today, as uh, you have a chance to go around and do whatever it is that you have planned for the day, and if you don't have anything planned, plan this. A at some point today, go out and look at the beauty of the world in spring. At some point today, go out and see the wildlife that's beginning to get more and more active. Look at the creation, um, God's creation, this home that he has placed us in and see how beautiful it is, uh, how good it is, and what a grand variety of animals, of plants, of the colors and textures there are out in this world that God has made for us. And Think about what the heavens are telling today and tonight, the great glory of God who has given us eyes to see, given us ears to hear, given us hands to touch, tongue to taste, nose to smell, and given us this world full of all kinds of noises and sights, of patterns, of smells and tastes. Enjoy and give glory to God today. Peace be with you.